Hola, bona dia, sabado, says Abro. Yes, it is the 6th of April and it's Saturday and we've got some really important news and this is really important if you're coming out of Spain this is a warning for you from the Foreign Office the UK and also the Spanish a warning people there's two documents you must need if you're coming out of Spain this summer and uh, yeah we're gonna let you know all about it and make sure you watch it right to the end because there's a special form that you need to fill in if you stand with friends and family so let's go So we're just going to have a little walk around Torre Bieca on the Costa Blanca. We're right by the famous uh, church here. Early in the morning, 11 o'clock, and we've got a bit of uh, suspended dust in the air. So we've got no blue skies today. It's that orange cloudy dust up there. But it's still warm, and it's expected to get up to 30 degrees and 32 tomorrow in some parts of Spain. So yeah, mucho caliente. So we're going to be explaining about these two documents they're telling you to bring to Spain if you're coming out this year for an holiday or visiting friends and family. I mean the Foreign Office is now warning, and this is the UK Foreign Office, is now the, telling everyone and they've made it public and all the newspapers on the press and they've been talking about it many times but they're looking like they're going to start clamping down on this so you will need these two documents if you're coming out of Spain and uh, travelling through to the airport of course you're going to be needing if you're planning a trip you're going to be needing not just your suitcases and your passport you're going to need in these bits of paper and uh, it's all um, additional paperwork you need to be carrying to Spain and this is all happening since we've uh, left the EU and Brexit and this is uh, Brexit the blame for all this kind of extra grief we're going to have to need obviously only applies to non-eu people from non-eu countries not just the suitcases and your passport like i said and it's all to do with the shenanigan and if you're um, traveling in the shenanigan you're gonna have to fill in these bits of paper and uh, also um, a proof of where you're going to be staying if you come on an holiday you're going to have to carry a, like a letter or something on your phone to tell them where you're going to be staying in spain whether it's an hotel or it's a friend's place or anything like that you'll need this bit of paper or you need it on your phone some kind of email documentation but there's also more that you're going to be needing if you're going to be staying with friends and family so it's a spanish uh, border patrol the police that will do these stop checks and uh, probably be random checks i can they can't stop everybody and uh, they're going to be saying you're going to be needing a proof of your your, your plane ticket where you're going onward journey or your return journey you're going to need proof of that on a phone or some kind of evidence you need to produce to say that you have got a return leg so you've got to have your proof of your hotel you're staying at proof of your uh, return ticket and then if you're staying at friends and family you're going to have to get this other special uh, form you're going to have to get and you're going to have to fill it in and it's called uh, an invitation form it's called um, actual name is carta invitation and uh, it's a special form and uh, i'll post the i'll post the form up i'll just put the form just up here so you can have a look what it looks like and this form you have to get this from one of your local police stations where you're going to be staying so if you're staying in Torrebieca go to your Torrebieca police station and you can get this form and you can fill it in so wherever you stand the local police station to where you stand you pick one of these forms up and that's if you're going to one of your second homes or if you're staying with friends and family if you're going into a hotel there'd be no need for all that it's only if you're not going to an hotel you'll have to get one of these special Locata invitation forms and fill it in and have it on with on you so if you do get stopped while you're out about in spain you've got this bit of evidence and that's only like i said it's for non-eu people so this has been around since we've left brexit but it's been all over the newspapers over the press and the spanish are now talking about it over here so 
you probably never even um, get stopped. I mean, I've never heard anyone so far got stopped, pulled over, asked all these questions. But I suppose it's a bit like the old drug test at the airports. You probably get the odd one, we'll stop you, and you will need to have all this kind of information. Your passport, onward uh, trips, where you're going to be going, return legs, hotel you stand, this form for a family. It's just all proof that you're not going to overstay and uh, you're not going to break the rules in Spain, basically. And it's it's all a pain in the ass, if you ask me. But like I mentioned, you're probably not here of anybody it's ever happened to, but it could start happening. If they're telling you you need to get it done, especially the UK Foreign Office are telling you, so just be warned, it's a, it's a latest news update and uh, it's been around for a while, but it sounds like they're gonna start enforcing it. So to be on the safe side, just make sure that you've got all these copies on your phone, your hotel, your stay and the paperwork, and uh, you, you've got all the proof ready. And uh, definitely if you're staying with friends and family, make sure that you do get this form from one of the local police stations you're staying at. There you go, there's a little train early in the morning, 11 o'clock, and the tourist trains just come back from La Mata up the Torrey by the Fountain. So that's today's news. If I get any more latest news, I'll publicise it over the weekend. But yeah, enjoy your weekend and uh, sit in the sun and don't get burnt and don't put too much sun cream on. And don't forget to subscribe and let us know what you think about these uh, strict rules they're coming in now. It's all about the Brits, isn't it? Brits, Brits, Brits. They just want to get us all the time. <laughs>